So you could collect art from any artist, yet you choose to really focus on Daniel Mazzoni's work. Why? Well, I think um, I got introduced to him through social media, and then a friend noticed that I was liking some of his pictures and his work, and I uh, just introduced us, and I had to learn his story a little bit, and um, you know, admire him for what uh, where he's at now in life and where he has come from, and admire his work. I think he's got a unique technique, and I like, um, yeah, I like all the use of his colors and different images that he uses. So. Um, I think it's pretty creative and I think uh, it involves a lot of elements that I can appreciate, you know. Even though I collect art, I, I won't say I'm a sophisticated art collector, but hopefully I'll get there one day. Okay, so why so many pieces? I hear you have about nine. Um, you know, it's part of just liking something and, and sticking with it. Uh, I've been blessed with, with uh, having a house that I need to uh, kind of put stuff in. and. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to see his work and, and liking a lot of the pieces and then wanting to have them and then finding a place for them in my home. Uh, Jose, when you look at this work and, work and the detail, you know, the intricate detail at, in your home and you look at it, how does it make you feel? Uh, it's great because it, it's it, they're pieces that I can actually uh, talk about with the people that come into my home and explain to them where they come from and how he goes about his work. So uh, it's, it's nice that I can that I've learned enough that I can speak on, on not his behalf, but on behalf of the, of the pieces of, of art. The artist himself says that all those little bits and pieces, he hopes that we will all look at everybody in a different way and notice all the little things about them and the stories about them. Does that move you? Um, yeah, it definitely um, you know, makes you think about how you look at different things in life, including people, and hopefully uh, learn that the, the details are what makes us uh, each, each, each one of us unique and uh, uh, special, so hopefully uh, that gets to stick with me um, from, from uh, being around his work. Uh, Jose, why was it important for you to meet Daniel in person? Uh, just putting a face and a person to the story. Um, that, that was the most important part for me, uh, knowing that he was a local Toronto kid and uh, that most likely he would be open to meeting with me was also at attractive for me. Uh, and then getting to know him as a person and understanding him a little bit better has, has been great because he's a great kid and, and hopefully we can continue to work in the future. Are you inspired by his story? I mean, living on the streets as a teenager. Yeah, um, you know, that's everybody has to, to overcome different obstacles in life. Uh, some are harder than others. Um, for him, it, 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 it was a pretty tough road. So I admire everything that he's done and what he's become and, again, where he came from because it hasn't been easy for him. Do, lastly, do you hang all of the pieces in the same place? Oh, no. I have them in different rooms in the house depending on the, the, the mood uh, and also the motif of, behind the piece. So I have some of the sports uh, themed stuff in my uh, office and, and some of the more artsy stuff out in the living room where people can enjoy them a little more. If you had to choose a favorite? Um, I have uh, one, one piece. There's actually three pieces put together. It's three women that are um, kind of posing under a, a, tr a tree with no leaves. So it's a pretty nice piece and uh, I have it out of my living room uh, next to my dining table just for everybody to enjoy.